Spider-Man, Spider-Man, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Can he swing from a web? No, he can't. He's a man. Look out. Let's play the Spider-Man. Hello, and welcome to my, uh, Let's Play of Spider-Man for the Super Nintendo, based on the animated cartoon show of the 90s. Uh, it's developed by Western Technologies Incorporated, published by LJN on the SNES. There's a similar, but completely different game, also developed by Western Technologies, but, uh, released on the Genesis and published by Acclaim, under the Acclaim logo. So let's just uh, get the story here first, before anything else. It's like the basic story is the uh, those villains have broken out of Ravencroft. Spider-Man's gotta, you know, beat him up and put him back in in jail. I'm gonna play this on Spectacular, which is the highest of the three difficulties. Average being the lowest, Amazing being medium, and uh, Spectacular being fire. You can set your lives from 1 to 5, and your continues from 0 to 3. Those are your only... Those are your only settings. This game has no saves. Um, let's just get a... Uh, Let's get into it here. Alright, so the first thing about this game is the controls are weird. B button is jump, A button is kick, uh, Y is punch, X is shoot a little web, uh, R is web swinging, and you have to manually hit and it can be a little finicky. Like, you hear that noise. Because it's, I'm hitting it. But it, the game will eat your input. Which it will do a lot. There are a lot of things in which just this game is not... This is not a good game. In l many ways. And then L button is run, and also wall climb. If you're next to a wall that's climbable, which the game really doesn't do any good job of indicating which walls are climbable, and you press L, then you'll be uh, stuck to it. And if you climb all the way up, generally you'll just fall the way off again. So yeah. So this is the first enemy. They're vault guards. Coming from Ravencroft. I think basically everyone I see play this game makes a Master Chief reference about them. But uh, those, are, those are from the comic. Don't think vault guards ever showed up in the cartoon, though. So the way we need to go is through here, but we can't. That gate will not break at this point until we go up here. So this is a thing this game does that can be infuriating: is jumping into the background. And uh, the way it works will kind of be different depending on what kind of background entrance you've got here. But here, uh, pretty much, you just jump into it at the right at the right spot, and then you duck and press jump to get out. So the game is making us do this so that we under kind of understand this mechanic. So there's web over here, and then when I cross this line, this dude shows up. Now I have to beat this guy in order to uh, open that grate, so I can web him, or I can jump kick him, and then he explodes. And explosions, uh, their hitboxes, work by... They basically always last a little bit longer than you think they will, and they start a little bit uh, slower than you think they will. So a lot of times, if you jump right away from an explosion right away as it happens, you can get away from it. So kick that down. I can climb up here and get spider armor. Spider armor will refill your health to total, basically give you a full extra health bar of hits he'll take, and when you get hit, you won't get knocked into uh, the stun animation. 
that usually happens to Spider-Man. So the, also notice these guys can, can duck attack you if... Uh, see, this is not a climbable wall. Uh, this is... If you see the skull there, this is poison. If I, if I go in there, I'll get hurt and die. Uh, these are just, you know, evil Bunsen burners. You know. Okay, so that's a green grenade. Let's pause. Look at this, uh, the menu. So, you can select between web, blue grenades, and green grenades. Grenades are pretty much worthless. Blue grenades are like a stun on non-organic non enemies, and green grenades, I think, are supposed to work on uh, technology-based enemies, but they never really work. And, uh... So this is a weird thing where this path is just a trap. I'm gonna go down it just to show you. Okay. That guy, you just beat by duck kicking. Uh, so this is just health, and then you fall down here, and then you're just back over here. It's basically just a, uh, a weird trap. And now, I've lost my, uh, my armor. So I should actually, well, I'll show it as we keep going. So, because uh, I do want to show how some of these things, so those are electrical things, they will hurt you. This is, this is nothing here. Uh, so then, there's this platform, and jumping off, nowhere special. Okay, so... Uh, so if you notice, after I got hit, there's no invincibility frames. You only get invincibility frames after you die, and when you die, you basically... You respawn right where you left off, so so th there's not that problem in this game of having to restart a level over unless you run out of lives and have to use a continue. If you go up here, there's not more max health, or if you came from that other way, you would jump on this. Tell me the other way would come from here. Jump here. Avoid that. There's a pit. That hole isn't a pit, and then there's another pit. And notice how those things are like chomping, like they have teeth. Oh, we will come up in a bit. So here, we've got this guy, and if we kill him, which takes about 10 hits, um, this wall will then go back. But I'm gonna do this other way, where you just climb up here, you get an extra life and full refills of health and web. And now we're on the other side. And I've never... I don't know how far back he gets pushed. So we're gonna find out together. Because I usually don't do this. No! Oh, he blows up! Oh! No explosion. So there's a, so notice how that only took one hit to kill him there. Uh, Spider-Man's like flip jump kick, I think it does more damage than any of his other moves for whatever reason. So with these, you can also web them. That's another that's another way you can beat them. So let's Try this. Come on, where are you? Oh, nope. That didn't do anything. This? Does this do anything? Nope. <laughs> Those two grenades, they do nothing to, like, the most standard enemy in the game. Oh, I should have, I should have broken one up there. Can I get back up there? I can. Hold on. Oh no, I did break it. I'm stupid. So let's try this. Whoops. Wrong button. 
Okay, so yeah. That freezes him. But uh that's what the grenades do. They both the the blue ones will stun organic enemies. And you have to hit select when you pick one to get out of that menu. If you just press start again, it'll default you back. Uh, full health. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Web. Nothing over here? Okay. Okay, so th this guy, you can, uh, can web him up. Oh, he's all webbed up. And then you kick him and he explodes. Anyway. Do, 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 do. We're good, we're good. Uh. So, look at Spider Man's eyes. They should be. They should have been flash in there. I couldn't see it on my on my screen, so I don't know if it worked. But Spider-Man has spider sense, which is how you're supposed to uh, detect hidden explosions, where his eyes will flash when you're near them. But it's kind of too sub it's too subtle to notice normally. So there, you see, there's a life up there, but I can't. You can't get it from here. No way to get that. So now we're gonna go this way, and this. Looks like those pits, but notice it's not chomping and there's light down there. It's because it's a an entrance to uh Okay. So also these vents with the smoke coming out of them, those will shoot and then I'll die. Shoot little puffs of air. Uh and we'll come back up here. That was an explosion. So here's Hydro Man. He will uh, try and shoot me. Yeah, and just jump all around. Doesn't really have a good duck attack, though. So, this is basically an extra area to get lives and stuff, and also these uh, the Fantastic Four tokens, which then you can use outside of the sewer to uh, summon members of the Fantastic Four. The, whoop, those uh, sewer at gators are not killable. So now there's one down here. So this is also a weird thing where, see this? You have to, to get back there, just jumping doesn't do it. You have to jump over to the left and land on this part of the, this pipe that's colored in. It's just a weird little thing. So this homeless dude, I think in the the original like the they're, they're like early release ROMs you can find of this online, and he was originally going to be Vermin, but uh, they cut that out. So now he's just a random dude without a shirt who lives in the sewers, and there are he's they can't be anyone specific because there's more than one of him. So, look back there and notice that the top there, there's no hole in the the roof, and there is a hole in the roof over there. So those, to get to those areas, you have to do specific things, and for that life and health, it's break that. So now I can get down here, and if I hadn't broken that one random plate, that wouldn't be open. So here's the lizard. He's a pain in the ass. Uh, ow. Let's wait for him to... Okay. He likes to jump. Luckily, there's plenty of ways to get extra health. So, again, he's a boss, but... I only want to beat him to get access to uh, an extra area. Okay, and I'm gonna show this off. So wh after he turns back into Kurt Connors, uh, you can make him the lizard again. 
And this might bar me from getting to that extra area. I can't can't remember. Uh, I want health. Nope. Well, so if you jump over here, again, another extra life. So, it's going to take me a lot of hits, but the lizard is actually beatable still in this form. It just, it's going to take a lot. So, when he's jumping all around like this, this is basically your best bet. Duck kicking in this game is easily the best. It's the best attack except for jump kicking, but if you jump kick lizard uh, in the air, he will also hurt you. So that's not an effective way to fight him here. Oof. Do do do. Fun, fun, fun. So this is basically just a punishment. I just want to showing it off to be thorough. How long it takes to beat him when he's in this green form, this glowing form. If you've hit him after he's uh after you've beaten him. So beating the lizard opens up the an elevator, which I think guards two Fantastic Four tokens, a Human Torch, and I think it's Mr. Fantastic? Okay. So we're not going to do that again. I could hit him again and just fight him indefinitely, but uh, we're not going to do that. Let's go this way. So part of what we're trying to get to is that area, and uh, but I don't remember if... Uh, I can't jump out of. There's a weird thing if you're under there, the game won't let you uh, jump out sometimes. Okay. So beating him again, you still can get access to it. If So we get this one, we get this, and now we need to get over to the right. But to do that, we have to do this weird thing, which is kick that one pipe, and then a secret door opens. Game doesn't really... And that was Human Torch. Game doesn't really do stuff like this often. This is like the one point in the game that it does it. So now there's another area to the sewer that you can only... This is only in the hardest difficulty, only on Spectacular. Is th Does this pipe take you to this, this extra area? With these uh, platform puzzle... Okay. Where am I going? Okay, I see. Nope. Okay. Oh god. I do not go this way very often. I see. So they have th three states. Whoops. Nope. And if I fall down, I actually won't be able to get back up this time. It's a part, part of how this works. Ugh. This can be... Okay. There we go. So, if you fall all the way down, you have to fight the, uh, the Spider Slayer before you would normally fight him in the, the regular game. In a, in a normal playthrough, you don't see him to, till the construction zone. And now, there isn't a way for me to get back up there, but all that's up there is extra lives. 
uh, and there are more opportunities to to show that off. So maybe we'll maybe we'll we'll do it one day. But that platforming can be rough. So this is Doc Ock, the first boss. You can't hurt him at all. There's there's nothing you can do to hurt him. But you can web him, but then he just goes crazy. There's no... The grenades won't do anything either. But, uh... Might as well. Oh! See, you can stun yourself! Just... Just nothing. Uh, we can try this. Hey! How about we try the Fantastic Four tokens we just got? Maybe those will do something. Nope! Nothing. You have to hit that switch, which turns on... the laser that drains all the power. Also, that's how you get this life that you could see over there. So now... Uh, there is a way to hurt you thing you can do. You can web them in the eyes! And electrocute him to death. Boop. A human torch kills everything on screen. That's that's what that was supposed to do. Does nothing to him. Spider Man, Spider Man, radioactive Spider Man, Spider Blood, Spider Blood, radioactive Spider Blood. Spider-Man, 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 Spider-Man.